Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is going to be about creating a portable planner storage system for you to be able to take wherever you need to go. There's a variety of ways that you can do this. I actually need to organize my faith planner supplies and this portable storage is going to be best for me to corral everything in one central location. But if I want to move it throughout my house, I can without having to be confined to my office with all of my other planner stuff. So I like to do this kind of portable storage for different seasons and also different projects that I'm working on. So I have my December daily one, which I did share a video about that. And then all of my seasonal stuff is divided into shoebox style bins that I got from Target and they're labeled according to what they are. So if I am working on a project, I can just grab that one container and move it wherever I need to for more space or take it with me if I definitely need to do it out of the house. So I have been avoiding organizing my faith planner stuff for quite some time. I have a lot of resources that I want to be able to carry around with me for reference, but some of the stuff I do need to take out and store away with my other planners. So let's go ahead and jump into this. And hopefully, even if you're not using this for faith planning like I am, you can do the same kind of thing with your planner supplies. Have your planner in here, all of your frequently accessed stickers and all that. I also have other videos of how you can use makeup bags, large and small, for on-the-go planner bags. This is just something that is a little more sturdy for me because the stuff that I have in here is very, very heavy. I have Bibles and notebooks and journals and all that, so I need something a little more durable. But if you are looking for something on a smaller scale, I'll have videos linked in the description box for more information on how to create that. So let's go ahead and get started. This container is from Michaels. I will have it linked in the description box. And I was actually using this as a craft box when I was babysitting. I would put all the craft stuff that I wanted to take with me to the kid's house and put it in here, which is how I got all of this tie-dye inside of here, so it's an absolute mess. I am going to try to clean this before I organize the top part, but let's go ahead and jump into the base. So they do have a smaller size of this, and Walmart also does have a similar container. So you literally just put the top one like that and then the lid goes on as such and the lid it snaps, you have the handle, good to go. So what I'm going to keep down here, let's go through what's in here first. So I have some of my devotionals. My grandmother usually brings me these from church. So I have quite a bit of those and then I have some other material here. So I just have some other stuff that she's given me for scriptures to reference. So this one is about wealth and I know she got this from a financial class that she took. So I'm going to keep all that together as far as resources. And then I have more decorative stuff. All of this is illustrated faith that I got from Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning is a great place to get all the illustrated faith stuff so if you're ever looking they have it for the Lolo so this is all illustrated faith stuff and then I have these stickers from Michaels and then I have these die cuts illustrated faith which I use for decorative purposes in my faith planner but what's good about these is that some of them have um, scriptures on the back so that's cool and then these are just more labels which I use to annotate things in my faith notebook and the faith notebook that I have that I keep beside my desk is this mini happy planner I did do a full setup on this I'll link it for you guys to check out but I keep that beside my desk and then this is more so I pull this out when I want to get 
deeper into faith planning. So this is the Horatio Printing Planner from 2017 that I did do some journaling inside of here and I do have some videos on this. I just realized that for me in faith planning in general that I don't necessarily need to stick to a plan. I need to feel it in my heart to do it because I don't like anything when it comes to faith to feel like a chore. That's always something that I've battled when it comes to going to church. I, it was just literally like I had to go all the time and it became like a chore. So now my approach is to feel it and I am feeling it more. So I pick it up when I feel it. I write in my phone when I feel it, when I feel something that I want to write about, something that stood out to me, something that moved me, I do write it down. But for me, horizontal works better than a vertical when it comes to writing out my scriptures and stuff. So this I'm actually going to be putting on my shelf. So this is coming out of the bin. And then also this notebook is coming out as well. So this I got from, I think, Big Lots or something like that. So this is coming out. I don't need it. So inside of here, I'm going to keep my Illustrator's Note-Taking Bible. I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I've always wanted a journaling Bible. And this one here is the New International Women's Faith Study Bible, and I do have this tab. So I do want to get some more tabs because I do want to tab this one. But I have two different Bibles in here. This one is more, again, of a study Bible where this one, if I don't want to pick up my notebook, I could pick up this and color and journal and do whatever I want in there. So that is what's going to be in the base of here along with all of my other resources. I'm going to keep all that on the bottom. And then my larger decorative stuff I'm going to leave here as well. I went through my stickers and I pulled out what it was that I did not want to keep with my stickers like faith related stuff. I really wanted to have it all in one central location. So that's how I got all these little containers and such. So I'm going to put these here for now. These may end up making their way back to here, but that is what's going to be in the bottom. The other two things that I pulled out are going on my shelf. And now it's time for me to clean this and set this up how I want it. All right, so I cleaned this out as best as I could with some baby wipes and wiped it down. I want to have this be my tools from my highlighters to my pens, tape, things like that. So I am going to add in some tape over here. As for my highlighters and stuff, they can go there. And I'm going to just add in a couple pens. I also have all of these labels that I was talking about. So I'm going to put those here and then I also have these prayer cards. I got these from Hobby, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx. They're absolutely gorgeous and I have them in the box, but these are absolutely beautiful and these are nice to not just have in my stash, but also if I ever did like Happy Mail or wanted to give these out in general. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to leave these in the box because I don't want them to get messed up, but I'm going to have them here in this top portion. I'll just put that there. Now the other thing that I want to add is some washi tape because I do have some specifically faith related that I got from Hobby Lobby and it is this little set right here. So all of these and I'm just going to put them in here with the regular tape and I like to use clear tape and washi tape for tippins. So that's that. And then yeah, those two highlighters are really the only ones that I need. And then the other thing 
that I'm thinking of putting up here are these, but they just don't fit nicely in here. So I'm going to forego that. And last but not least are sticky notes. So I have this container that I condensed all of my sticky notes into. I got rid of a lot of the ones that I was not using that just did not stick well. So these Dollar Tree ones that I have duplicates of, I'm going to put inside of here. So this one, the orange one, I don't need two pink ones, the blue one, and the yellow one. So all of those. And actually what I think I'm going to do is take the yellow one out and save that and then just put in the circle ones so I can make use of those. So this is my little sticky note corner. And that is it. Super simple. Of course, whatever you would want to add of your frequently used items again, whether that be stickers. Let's see if a Happy Planner sticker book will fit here. I mean, it would. You would just have a hard time picking this up. But if you put it that way, that would work. You could put about two or three there. But of course, there's smaller sticker books and stuff. And again, the thing about the portable planner storage is to be able to have your frequently used items in one location and even if you don't have a large stash starting off with something like this again I have seen these containers in two different sizes I know a lot of people use them for makeup and a variety of things but this is also a great solution that is cost effective when it comes to organizing your planner stash so I'm going to go ahead and put this right back into this container all right so here's the base of the container here is the top again the base has all of my resources my two bibles and a few decorative touches and then up top is more functional things i would reach for when i am actually using my faith notebook from sticky notes to the pens and highlighters the washi tape and i do have some labels here and these prayer cards which again i said would be great for happy mail so that is that gonna put the lid on and snap and this handle is adjustable as you can see and everything is very well contained I really do like this container because it's sturdy but it's also compact and if I wanted to stack things on top of it I could and this also does go into my craft closet if I wanted to. But right now, with all the other containers I have, this just sits outside of it. So I may end up moving this into my craft closet. But I kind of want to have this out because I don't want to tuck it away. This is something that I want to use more frequently. So I'm going to keep this near my desk for now. So I'll keep you guys updated on how this is. But let me know down in the comment section if you guys have a portable planner storage system i would love to hear about it and if you're a planner newbie a container like this is great because you're able to build your stash but also have it contained it's not going everywhere you don't need a huge stash starting out but this is a great starter container and when you outgrow it if that's the case you can use it in other areas of your house People have used this, I've seen for their makeup and hair care products. So you can reuse this container if you do end up outgrowing it for your planner and craft supplies. So that is it. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box. I will have this container as well as other alternatives linked as well as related videos and the links to my blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed, to the chaotic critic fam what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button we are almost at 5k i'm so excited and if you are already subscribed i thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye